For the past couple of weeks, I've studied some of the biggest marketers of this generation and of past generation, being Alex Ramosi, Dan Kennedy, Russell Brunson, Dan Henry, and you name it, the list goes on and on and on. And I try to study all these guys to see what makes them stand out, what makes people trust them so much more than your average Joe or your you know 15 year old SMMA guru online marketer. What makes them stand out so they're able to make so much more money versus just your average Joe? And I discovered one very, very sneaky little tactic that all of them use that they've never, ever, ever talked about. It's one common thing to all the biggest guys. I'm talking Warren Buffett, Steve Jobs, even Russell Brunson himself, okay, have used to make a bunch of money that they've never told you. Now, in this video, I'm gonna share with you what that concept is and how you can apply it to your business, your offers, and your marketing to make prospects trust you more, give you less objections, make your marketing more effective, and ultimately make more sales and help more people. Now, the concept I'm talking about today is called damaging admissions. Now, bear with me, because I'm going to be brutally transparent. This is going to be very boring, but maybe one of the best lessons that you've ever learned, okay? And I know that I talk quite fast, but that's because I'm just excited. So, a damaging mission is simply an acknowledgement of the potential risks and or drawbacks an offer or product or service may have, okay? Making, making a damaging mission can actually increase your prospect's trust because it shows integrity and honesty, Okay, and so in this day and age where people are so skeptical all the time, when you tell somebody something bad followed with something good, they're more likely to believe it than if you just told them something good because people are very skeptical nowadays about things that seem too good to be true. And so if you say, hey man, I suck at optimizing your business, helping you keep clients longer, and figuring out a way to make you more profitable, but I'm really good at helping you get more clients in the door. If your main service is helping people get clients to the door and you tell them that, they'll be more likely to believe that, aka then go on to do business with you. Now, if you noticed, I just did a damaging mission there. I said this video is going to be very boring and kind of, you know, very boring. <laughs> and that was my damaging mission to then hopefully make you believe that when I said this video would be important and you should listen, you would listen, even though it's boring. Hope it worked if you're watching this, okay? Now, let's talk about how you can apply this principle in your day-to-day -day life, in your business to make prospects trust you more, make more sales, you get the gist. So... There's a bunch of different areas. You can use this in your VSLs. You can do this in your cold calling and your cold outreach. You can use this in your content. And you can use this in literally everything. The point of a damaging mission is simply just to explain the drawbacks of something or the, I guess, the negatives or some sort of uh, flaw in you or your product or your service followed up with a good thing to make the prospect believe the good thing. So, for example, something you could do if, if you're, let's say if you're cold calling flooring companies, you can be like, hey man, yada yada, you get past your opener, hey man, this, this cold call, do you want to punch me in the face, do you want to give me 20 seconds to explain why I'm calling, okay? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay, cool. I'll be honest with you, I don't give a fuck about flooring at all. But I am really good at helping fours all across the United States make a bunch more money, which in return helps me make a bunch more money myself. And so you want to hear how I'm going to do that for 15 plus people that I'm currently working with? Pause. What did I just do? Well, I did a damaging mission. I told them, I don't give a shit about flooring. But I'm really good at helping fours get more jobs. And so, even though it may seem a bit weird, like, why are you telling them you don't care? It's because subconsciously, they're already thinking you don't care about them. And so if I just say, hey man, I actually don't care, but I'm just really good, they'll be like, oh, at least he's telling the truth, he doesn't care. But then he's saying he's really good, which then makes them believe that sentence so much more to make them curious about, well, how is this guy so good? How is he able to get these other guys such good results? Another good example is, let's say if you're doing a VSL. At the beginning of your video, it's like, it's, hey man, this is VSL. The point of this is for me to try and sell you on something. So please watch the whole thing because it's important because if you don't watch, you may not buy the thing. Now, it may seem so counterintuitive to be like, hey, I'm trying to tell you something. But the person already knows you're trying to sell them something. They already know it's a VSL. And so explaining that to them makes them then trust you more and more likely to watch because you've already now said what's on their mind. It's super cool how this tactic can work. You can use this in anything. Use this on sales calls. Hey man, I know I may look like a geeky nerd, which I am, and I may not be the best at social skills and talking to people, but I'm really good at what I do and I'm really good at helping roofing companies get more clients. Once again, damaging mission. Hey, yes, I look like a nerd, but I'm really good. That means I'm really good in the back and help people get clients. Right? And so this concept of damaging, damaging emissions can be used anywhere, in anything, in your ads, in your content, in your cold call, right? Even in your cold email copy. Hey, yes, this is, another, this is the 1,500 cold email you got today trying to pitch you on something. 
But you know why we're different? Because we're 17 and they're 20. Which means we're cooler. <laughs> right? Just once again, the concept of some sort of damaging mission trying to point out the flaws to say what's already on the prospect's mind. Alrighty? So, I'm not going to drag this video on any longer. I promise you'd be boring, which it was, but it was valuable. I hope. Let me know. Okay? And I'll be honest, I have a community if you want to join. I make these videos in hopes that you like them, so you join my free community. And if you like my free community, I hope that you then join my paid community. That's my goal. Woohoo. There you go. Okay? So if you want to talk to me more and then join my paid community so I can make money off you, so I can pay my bills and drive my Lamborghini and fly to Bali and live there, then join my free community and buy my paid one while you're at it. <laughs> okay? <laughs> but I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, Hope that you found this video valuable, okay? Start using damaging emissions. It's one of the things that all of the top marketers, all, heck, all the top companies and people use to make prospects or people trust them more and stand out from the crowd by being honest with what everybody's already thinking anyway. So start using this in everything, literally every single thing. I promise you it'll work wonders and prospects will start to trust you more than your grandma does just works that way. If you have any questions on this, join my freaking free community. You can ask me any question and they'll answer and help you use damaging emissions so you can close more clients and have more prospects trust you. See ya. Peace.